In the summer of 2020, I was very fortunate to experience many ultimate self-guided fishing adventures. But this one, to the Arctic coast in search of unicorns, was on the top of my bucket list. And I'm bringing you with me. So hang tight, we're going fishing. a little bit of an adventure. <laughs> We're going backpacking. Idea was this to film a TV show in a backpack. Anyway, I may have brought too much stuff. <sighs> Whoa! <laughs> you watch where I'm going. Mason's way ahead of me. We're going way up there. Still walking. I'm keeping up now though. <laughs> See, I am with someone, I swear. I didn't go alone. He's got the gun. <laughs> We're in polar bear, grizzly bear country. Arctic char, smashed a woolly bugger on a jig. Look at that, wasn't that gorgeous? Take her along.
do on the fly. Is that a female? Look how blue that one is. Really heavy blues, teals, Orange. yeah. Yeah. Oh man, they are so good. Come back. Number two! Number two! This is awesome! Oh, you're hooked up! Fish down a tree! Mason's got one! You see why we're catching so many fish? There's the lucky eagle feather here. This is the spot. Like, we can just camp out here, dude. planning on filming much, just kind of uh, scouting out the area. Don't forget to uh, keep an eye out for bear. Whoa, look at the colors in that one, right? Uh, yeah, I got a good snark right here. Come on, winter back. Come on now. Okay, we're gonna have to uh, execute. Look at, this. look at this. Oh, we landed a big orange unicorn. Wow. like winching lake trout or anything like that. This is crazy. The ultralight, this is pretty fun too. <laughs> oh. Dude, let you do the honors. Thank you. Right on, fish number four. <laughs> nice Look at char. that. Beautiful Arctic char. Woo! All right.
Ooh, this looks like a red guy. better than that. Arctic char and the Tree River. I don't know how big that one is. Probably a good 15 pounder. Oh. Right. Hold them out too long. Oh, such a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Gorgeous fish. Arctic char on the fly. Yeah. Doesn't get any better than that. That's amazing. I think that's three. Three landed now. Lost one. Three for four. You're two for four. We're doing okay. Slam. <laughs> on the bank. I'm like way behind. I don't know whose idea it was to go hunting with or go fishing with a mountain hunter. Mason just got off the mountain sheep hunting this summer. <laughs> He's tough to keep up with. We're kind of just skipping the fast water. There's little eddies and stuff for Snag City. And they say you're not getting snagged, you're not catching fish, but we found fish setting up in the back eddies. And uh, it was a little easier to catch them. Oh, this looks crazy. I don't know where Mason went. Yeah, we'll see if we find him. <laughs> Found him. Of course, he's on the tool. Right on! Oh my goodness! Look at that! Oh, that is gorgeous. Unreal. 
Double header char. Mason's Bye hooked back. up. It's raining, it's gross out. I'm just gonna let this one go. mission presidential falls what do you say mason not a bad day how's char fishing it's all right We've got like 10 each on the bank would we'll do some nice big males <laughs> females we got an eater stashed in the woods on the way back that's good as you get uh, right now yeah we're camped on a pool total full of fish we were gonna hike and camp up here but someone's out of shape <laughs> someone's getting old yeah, <laughs> five months sitting on the couch. They don't play on the couch. Take care of your kids. The COVID oh, workout. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're getting in shape now. Anyway, we're going to uh, we're gonna book her back to camp. See you at camp. Well, Mason, day one, we had half a day of fishing. Terrible day. It was pretty rough. Yeah. Not, a, not enough time. How many did you catch? Oh, I think it was around probably 10 or 12, and I think you were close to 15, so <laughs> we, we had a rough up. day. We yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we killed it. <clears throat> I was float fishing with flies, and then I put a little bead on at the end of the day, and oh, they're in trouble tomorrow. <laughs> Oh yes. And you were rocking the spoon and the spinner. Yeah, and... doing a lot more spinner action and uh, on some of the ultralight gear and still just right You got in. all the colored up males. It yeah, seems like it the spoon cool. is the ticket, the big spoon. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So, no, we had a hell of a day, hell of a day. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So our backpacking adventure shortened up a bit. Someone, I don't know, packed my <laughs> shit. Someone hasn't worked out much during COVID. <laughs> yeah, we figured it was better use of our time to make a spike camp and we'll just work from here. And and in the hour, not even, it was like 40 minutes we were back. So it's probably yeah. an hour and we can be to the falls. So our yeah. plan in the morning, we're gonna wake up nice and early and we're going to the falls. Walking up the rapids. See if we can find somewhere to fish. Looks kind of fishable right there.
Well, we made it. Uh, presidential fall. Right there. It's, uh, fishing's pretty tough this morning. Not sure why. It's, uh, it's definitely better yesterday. We were spoiled. But uh, we haven't fished much. We only fished for like, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes. So sun's coming out. Different day. We're starting here. It's 9 o'clock. And we're just gonna work our way back. We gotta be back to the tent by two. We gotta pack up. Be ready to catch the plane at six. So, a little bit of a trip out of here. We'll just fish down a little bit lower. I was just reeling the fly in. It's a big red male, I think. There's two, another one chasing it. Oh, it's the female. It's a big red male here. Come here, girl. Beauty. Textbook, baby. Watch that. Man, he crushed that bead. Crazy. I had the bead up underneath the float and he went for it. Woo! Called it. Push on. It's a big red male. Oh. Dude, there's a pile of fish in here. Oh, he's even got the red lips. No match for the 17 foot rod. <laughs> Holy, he sure does uh, put it to the task. Oh man, they are so strong. So, so strong. The trick is to not, not horse them, just let them do what they want. You'll get a, a chance, but if they get into that current, they're Gandhi. You might get lucky if you don't get wrapped around a rock, but. So much leverage.
dude. He should be over there. Here, let me bring him to you. No. He'd be over there. He'd be over the other place. <laughs> Holy! That That's is a beauty. Oh my goodness. Look at that charm. Wow. That is absolutely amazing. Fish of many people's dreams. That is a Tree River Charm. Get that book out. I slid that bead down right on top of the fly because he went after it. It was underneath the float. And he just annihilated it next cast. Look at that fish. My goodness. That was, that was epic. That was it, that just made the trip there. Finally caught two fish. All morning it's been slow, but uh, I, I don't need to catch another fish. It's, uh, it's been humbling. Yesterday it was like fast and furious and we had to work for it. We were on a bit of a mission to go to the falls. We got that done. Now we're just sticking to what we know, where we caught fish yesterday and we're just focusing on that. We're on a time crunch, we gotta get back to camp and break it down and start packing out of here. Yeah. See if we can do it again. <laughs> I'm Ryan Gregory, and this is Fish in the Arctic. Arctic char, Tree River in Nunavut. See you later, big guy. Wow, this is truly epic. Absolutely amazing. We're off.
Vision! What a beautiful fin. See you later, dude. <laughs> this is awesome. Lots of permafrost melting here. Looks like. Oh, you gotta watch your step. Oh, no workout today. Broke your eye? Yeah. Oh. It was like a big whoop. <laughs> oh. It looked like he just like, send it. But I wonder because I'm like, if that goes down in the pool, into the right there, I'll be like, Woo, let's be done. My goodness, look at that egg wagon, holy, she did not want to be on shore. <laughs> said, I'm going home. <laughs> Let me go. There she go. Well, dude, it's been epic. It's been all right. Pretty that incredible. has been, uh, <laughs> I 
absolutely spectacular. It's just unbelievable. unbelievable. Like, the volume of fish, the landscape, and just like the quality of the fish we've been landing has just been spectacular. Yeah. We've easily landed like 60 fish between the two of us <laughs> in like two half days. Sore arms. We had an afternoon yesterday and a morning today, and it took a while, but we crushed them in like two hours. It's crazy. It's just annihilated yeah. them. Mason had a tough day today, though. A few more frustrations. Didn't but he caught, connect. you caught big fish. Caught big fish. 36 inch male Arctic char, full spotting colors. Probably pushing 20. Yeah, no, phenomenal. Unbelievable. Phenomenal buck. Yeah. Well, Mason, this is our second adventure together, and it's been, it's been pretty spectacular. They only get better. It's been pretty epic. <laughs> uh, this one we yeah. executed our, well beyond our goals. It made for up sure. being stranded on the Barrenlands for for 10 days, broken down while muskox hunting. I but think so. This has been a fishing the Arctic adventure to the Tree River in Nunavut. I'm Ryan Gregory from Fishing the Arctic. And I'm Mason Elwood. Okay, thanks for watching. Well, Ryan, I think it's fair to say we've conquered the tree in ways that some others can only dream of. That was epic. You later, big guy. Wow, this is truly really epic.